What's up guys? I'm Tyler. And I'm Brittany. We're Wallace Farm and Sawmill. We're back at you again today. We got another video and we're going to talk to you about something that I feel like has been a huge change in our lives. So as you guys can see, behind me we have this big, nasty, ugly, knotty pine log. With that being said, what is life changing about this sawmill? We're about to get into that, and I'm gonna tell you some facts, and then we're gonna shoot some footage of sawing this big ugly log, and you'll see for yourself why this mill has been a huge upgrade for us too. Okay, I got this pretty much set up to where we're gonna saw it and take these first little knots out. This log is kind of banana formed. It's got a little bit of a rock in the middle where it's coming out, you know, it's bent that way. So anyway, guys, what I want to tell you about this sawmill, we've really enjoyed it. Um, the other day, I had to step away from the mill and unload a log truck, and Miss Brittany got to take it over. So what are your thoughts on taking over and running this one versus the LT-15? Oh, man, this mill is totally different than the LT-15 was. I didn't have to turn the log. I didn't have to clamp the log. It just did it all for me, and, and the controls were so easy to handle i remember uh sewing on our old sawmill that we had that was uh what was it the manual lt15 no the one before that the ac 36 cooks yes well no no no, no. i wouldn't mind it. oh the lt35 yes and i still remembered how to do that from uh our lt35 i forgot what it was called but um uh, it was it was super easy just to go back to that it's, it's very easy to do very easy to handle these big logs so i'm really really enjoying it as she said there, yes, the controls are pretty much very similar or the same there to the LT35 hydraulic, in my experience. The LT40 just feels like a really beefy version of the LT35, so that I'm happy about. Now, what's changed for us is our workload has went way down because we're not having to literally turn and clamp and do all those tasks that we were having to do before. The bi-directional clamp, you can see in the beginning there, comes in handy because this big knotty log had so many hang-ups that it didn't just want to go in. But you can use that to lift the log, pull the log in. So many things you can do with that. So we love that. So let's get to the point here, guys. Let's get this log sawed up. Into this video, we'll talk a little bit more about how this thing has changed for us and, well, really how much we like this.
is. Okay, so brief, very brief intermission before we finish this log. We gotta talk about something. So we got our two before stood up. Don't worry about splitting the pith, guys. This is for low-end pallet quality lumber. Don't stress. If you check out what we got done here, and you notice there that those hydraulics took care of all of the work of standing those up. On our LT-15, me and Britt were having to stand those up with a 
uh can't hook that's the word and that that's pretty rough i mean that's that's a really heavy log that's a real naughty ugly log and we've been able to handle it so that's a heck of a lot easier i just thought man we got to talk about how easy that was to handle compared so anyway back to sawing And just like that, we are getting way up into that pallet. You can see we got some more pallets back there in the background. Brittany, you've been hustling over here, ain't you? Yep. <laughs> and this Mississippi weather, you don't know whether it's going to be cold or hot. That's very true. As you can tell, we're short sleeving today, and it was freezing this morning. So, <laughs> you know, get all seasons in one day in Mississippi. <laughs> All right, so I told you I was gonna give you a little talk at the end. This is, we're at that point, guys, stay with me. I'm gonna tell you how this sawmill has changed it for us. It has greatly reduced our workload and greatly increased our productivity. This one is very happy about not having to turn those logs. And she's, well, you know, I turned a lot of the logs and she would have to come over and clamp them. We kind of tag team that situation. But, I'm glad I'm not clamping anymore. Yeah, now she doesn't have to clamp it. And then when I go to unload a truck, she doesn't clamp, roll, or do any of the other. So it kind of just, you know, it made it a lot easier on us to be a small operation and get more done in the day without wearing our bodies out. So we're very thankful that we were able to upgrade to that. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos because without that, well, maybe we couldn't have. So, you know, we're very, very happy with that. We appreciate all our guys over there on Patreon as well that are watching all of our daily updates and some of our little side quests that we go on throughout our week. In our next video, we wanted to answer some of the questions that you guys might have. So go down in the comments below right now and uh, just ask us all the questions that you want to, and we'll try to answer them for you the best we can in our next video. <clears throat> I think that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Like she said, Go down below, make a comment. We're going to pick out some random comments. We're going to answer those questions in the next video. Look for the next video this Friday, as always. And thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate every single view from everybody. Comment down below those questions. We're ready to see what you got. We're going to answer them on Friday. Until next time, guys. See ya. Bam.